I did an ice cream truck at one of my open houses here in town. Ice cream. And that was really cool. You did an ice cream truck? Yeah. And they Ice and cream. I need to go to your open houses. Yeah. <laughs> We're already talking about are it. Are we on? Okay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Elias. I'm over here with Heather the Hurricane Hi. in the house. And over, it is hurricane season, right? <laughs> it is hurricane season. <laughs> over forty-six million dollars. More. In, We're at more like than sixty that. now. I was just We're talking. About, we have sixty million dollars in deals right now, and like one hundred and fifty transactions in five years, less than five years. Sixty. One hundred. Sorry, a hundred million, a hundred sixty. Well, no, it's, it's getting there. It's getting higher and higher. Okay. Like I said, I need a ticker, like the stock market, <laughs> and um, over a hundred fifty transactions in less than transactions five years. In less than five years. That's a great feat. That is not more. small. <laughs> How did you get started in this field? What, what brought you to real estate? It's so interesting that you ask me that. I've actually been in my background. I've been in sales my whole life. My background is fashion. I was a buyer at Century Twenty One Department Store. Then got into marketing ad sales. I was VP of sales for Go Gorilla Media for over 20 years, selling huge gorilla marketing programs all over the country. And that's why my marketing kicks butt. Like my hurricane logo was like become iconic. Like my marketing is You're known as the hurricane. Correct. And that right. happened again within less than five years. That's no small feat. Right. My marketing is insane. So my background was marketing for many years, over 20 years selling huge guerrilla marketing campaigns all over the country. And five years ago, before COVID, a lot of people did it during COVID, I was like, I cannot believe I do not have, because I've done other things, like I was, um, Heather, Heather's Hey Days was my side party planning business. I do stand-up comedy, which you can see here, one of the poster of right an event that I there. did recently. Um, so I, while I was doing advertising, I had some side things, you know, VP, I, um, my kids do acting and modeling. I also do some of that myself, along with the comedy. I run Girl Scouts, PTA. Uh, I've won awards at our temple, tons of things. And, you know, these were things I did besides the advertising. And I always said, once, I, like I said, about five years ago, I was like, I don't know why I don't have my real estate license. You know, I would probably, just something I really should do or have. Right, yeah. Did it. I remember taking it while I was, even like in the Dominican, I was on the porch studying. <laughs> Actually, who I work with, Becky, who I work for, our, our Remax in Coaster, they're amazing. I knew her for many years through mom's groups. And nice. I used to say to her here and there, why don't I get it? She's like, I don't know, Hev, you have so much going on. You'll know when the time is right. <laughs> and the time was right. Passed it. And ever since I started doing it, I just jumped right in. It was wonderful. Just really jumped right in, just like I would for anything else I do and become successful at because I go in. For most learn, of the things, you got to jump right into it. You, like you, if you, if, you know, I'm a very good salesperson. I'm here to right. help people. And so it just, I, I, like my networking, my network is huge. I've always been someone that people come to in town. They need whatever they need. They come to me. So it was just like a perfect fit. Right. It was a perfect fit. That's what a realtor does. Really, we match things besides of course, we get them a house, but we're there for every step of the way. From the minute we meet them to get them pre-approved, to get an attorney, to get an inspector, right, yeah. to get to the closing table. We're like that. Just a part of their life in general. Yes. Yeah. And it just fits so well for me. I was doing the advertising and the real estate at the same time. And when COVID hit, real estate was, you know, real estate and marketing were both really good. When COVID okay. hit, marketing was down, real estate was up. And then it just really leveled off where it was like my, the owner of my company, Go Gorilla Media that I worked for for over 20 years was like, Heather, I'm going to tell you something, just do the real estate. You're going to thank me for that. And it was the best thing. That it was my next chapter. The owner said that. Yes. Of wow. Go, even though I brought him so much money because he was like, you need to focus on this. This is where you need to be. Right. Because he was like a friend too for many years wow. at my wedding back in 04, you know? And so I took everything I learned there and brought it here. And so that was the next chapter. And here we are. I mean, honestly, the marketing aspect of it probably helped you so much in this. Like, I'm taking a look at your marketing material right now. Like, we this is have... only a piece of it. I'm, that's what I'm doing all morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have this top agent magazine that she's been on. You've been on Real Producers Magazine. What else have you? Yeah, like, Aaron. What? 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 Have you been like, how's your marketing? How have you been marketing? Right. Well, yourself? those things like with Aaron, that's how we met for, for right. Bergen County Real Producers, it was editorials. Thank the God. Top, that, let me remind you that the 
Real Producers Magazine only adds the best real estate agents in the field to the magazine. So that's not a small feat. And he wrote two articles. It was very, it was awesome. He did one, the hur hurricane is coming, like as a new bee in the marketing that in the um, industry that's doing great was one, it was an awesome article. And then the other one was about my, my involvement in the community, which I talked a right. little bit about. And I still, still can attest to that today. Still doing, t still a Girl Scout leader. Um, I'm also president of a Latif chapter, Fairlawn Latif chapter, which brings so much value also to my services. Because with that, I'm president of this of the Fairlawn Latif chapter and the only realtor. And then within my chapter, we have a different category that of other professionals that I can, you know, we have an insurance person, an inspector, an attorney, a real estate attorney. I mean, the list goes on, a party plan, all these things that can, life insurance, financial advisor, very important when purchasing nice, a home. Yeah. So all these things are partnerships that I also bring to the table. Nice. So all of that. And if you ever, anyone, we're looking for more categories, by the way, we just chartered and <laughs> it's only one category per, you know, I'm the only realtor, the only, right. which is so important. But anyone out there that's listening, give me a call. Maybe your category is one we're looking for. We meet every Tuesday morning at 7.45 a.m. at the Suburban Diner on Paramus. I'm adding her information to the description below, so check yes. that out if you are interested in connecting with her. Thank you. And also, everything's on my website, Heather the Hurricane. I'll put that right below right there. You should see it right now on the screen, heathertheHurricane.com. www.heathertheHurricane.com. Perfect. And I have links. There's different... You could click on Heather in the meet Heather in the press in the media her sales her reviews. So there's a link and also where you could find me. I'm on LinkedIn, TikTok, Tip to Inst every single social media platform that you could think on of. YouTube. On YouTube, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel too. So. Check it out below. <laughs> <laughs> so these bubbles um, uh, you were going to explain to me before. Right, I'm running low on merch, hurricane merch, um, but. I have a, some end of the year, you know, winding down a bit, not too, still hurricaning it up. I have a bunch of events coming up, but I always have lots of merch. I think okay. This one we're holding are my bubbles, which I had made for a wedding show that I A was, wedding show, nice. Uh, participated in. I had my own booth. Um, and it was wonderful meeting people that are getting married, looking to purchase homes, sell homes. And so the bubbles, because it was, you know, like the bubbles that you blow at a wedding. I have a lot left over. I've been giving at family events as well, because I've done family events. That community is so important to me. Everything that happens here in Oradell, I am part of, be it the 5K run. I was a huge sponsor. I'm on the back of their t-shirt. I also had a, had a table there. Um, family day, all of those things I'm a part of. Um, and I always try to do my merch to be something that goes along with the theme. Like I said, the bubbles, they also worked for the families. Um, I had air fresheners for the car show in River Edge. That's our neighboring town. Also very important. Like I said, just to, I go to, I sell homes everywhere. Bergen County, as you know, I'm here. You're at time. every community event. I try. I mean, I definitely hit our close ones and then see where else I can go. The right. wedding show was great. I have a, a boutique coming up in Ridgewood. A boutique show part of a mom's event that i'm um a mom group i'm part of moms in business so that's another big show coming up for me i'm doing a bunch of stuff at the pta coming up so this is how i'm winding down. <laughs> wind down but anyway so the things that i hand out like i said the air freshers were for the car show so i have cookies with my logo just gave my last one to a listing appointment yesterday so i'm out of those i have pen the pens are awesome Everyone i'm taking one by the yes, way yes this is for you my last one <laughs> my brochure i've made which kind of i find i hope i wanted to have one piece that kind of put everything let together. me just show but it a little a bit closer to the camera right here i'll put it in the video as well but here's her brochure and i was hand with my you know code those are so important but I'm scan the code, scan the code. I'm always working on new stuff. Uh, one thing that was really cool that I did for our Oradell day was I had a spin, a wheel, a prize wheel, and I coordinated with local businesses in town and had them donate different um, gift cards. There's a new sneaker store in town. One lucky lady got a pair of Yeezys. I wanted those. They were my I size. I want them myself. <laughs> they were my size. You didn't so. invite me. I wasn't there. <laughs> And here my car too. We try to do things a little different. You'll see that's one of the houses I sold. My credentials are there. Also on the back is all my awards. 
and my credentials I think are important too that I have taken besides being a realtor I've taken classes so that I'm a I'm um, versed in short sales on selling and buying I have like the special doctorate so to say okay. of these different categories what's one thing you and would I'm still always going and grow, growing and I looking mean, at what, how can I grow I learn every single day every deal every person I put into a home or a rental or a sales property commercial property I'm learning I'm growing I'm trying to do the best for every single client every deal that I do I mean listen up guys this is a hundred million dollar agent right here killing it in the real estate field so when she's talking you listen and if you're interested in buying a house who better selling selling rentals, buying rentals commercial properties investment properties who better short sales who better than the hurricane <laughs> i hope so <laughs> <laughs> thank you i appreciate that what, what's one thing that you'd say one like character personality trait that you have that has helped you succeed so much in this field so a never give up i mean where there's a will there's a way i have so many deals that i thought at one point like how am i going to make this person a homeowner think this went this didn't work there, you know the, there are so from a to z, to z to right. the close a being meeting a client to actually selling the home and putting the to clear to close or right. if it's selling their home or getting them into a home is a long journey which is why I find it very, you know, it's very challenging when people think that they don't need an agent. It's, it's, it's almost, it seems, it's silly because it there's so wild. many, don't you hire a professional if you're going to have, you know, foot surgery, you hire yeah. a foot doctor. Yeah. It's the same thing. And so my perseverance of figuring out things, I like to think outside the box. It's not if if just from putting in the offer and then all of a sudden something went wrong and I just said okay forget it. I none of my people would have homes or or or, or rentals. Yeah. There's always something to think outside about. Figure out how do we get this done. And if there's a way to get the peg into the hole, I can fi the hurricane <laughs> can figure it out. So that's one thing you'd say. One though, thing. So I'm very caring. I'm very um, like my clients are my family. I'm not a used I car salesman. No, I no offense. That. I love I love cars. I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, if you're in that field. Uh, all sales people are good. Everyone's. I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not like reading office. You know, hot, you know, it's from the minute I get on the phone with a client, I I hope they feel my genuine, right. how genuine I am. If there's something wrong with them. You're not trying to betray them or anything. You're not trying just to get the deal. I want to help them. You want to help. You want to. You're, you're genuine with the, my energy with, also right like people like oh man your energy is wild from the day first day I'm like, I <laughs> drug. I mean, or, or how much a uh, coffee do you have no like i have a, I usually let me tell you this lady is hyper like hyper <laughs> she's you know, like if you're don't get confused if she looks calm on camera right now I'm being calm. like <laughs> she is like I, I like the camera. a go-getter she is that's wild. why i got that hurricane one of the ways um, you know, very energetic. People love my energy. They feed off of it. They feel it. Hell yeah. And it it shows. It, it helps. It does. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I'll just have a sip. Usually I carry an iced coffee around. It's more of a prop, like a sip, and I, <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> so those are just a few things. And also, um, I'm a very hard worker. I work at all hours. Right. My clients can read. Um, that's a good or a bad thing. I don't know. Some people will say <laughs> set hours. That's not for me. I... I still think I'm, gotta I'm be able more to... of a like a, a life work blend type yeah, of person. Like I still get, I, so, you know, I have awesome friends. I'm very blessed. I have my family. Everything is so right. important to me and somehow I get it all done. I still have an awesome social, you know, I get it all done, but still I'm able to get work right. at all hours too. I don't know. But you no, know, I mean, just, I think it's a good blend. I mean, like I, if I'm, if I know I'm going somewhere by 8 PM, right. I'll try to get everything done and I want to know that like that offer was sent and I got back to this one and right. that one without having to worry about it. Right. So that's also very important. Very hard work. I mean, work. whether that's healthy or not, I'll leave that up for Everyone debate. has to let, figure out what's good for them. Let us know in the comments. Let, let us know in the comments and everything. 
But my feeling is like I do it myself too. Like I'll be on vacation and I'll oh, be yeah. working. You oh know? yeah, like, you try to balance it. Yeah, like I'm not gonna work well, all yeah, the, the time, kind of, but like that's. But the, I feel like I love what like so I could get back to someone. Sure, we'll set that in spe- Like why can't I do that and then go to the pool for the hour yeah. and then come back? Yeah. That's but it's not for everyone. But no, this is no, what helped no. me. These are some of the traits. I'm always available. I'm a hard worker. I care. I think outside the box. And my yeah. energy. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're interested in a nine to five real estate, I agree. Is not. I just for saw you. that actually. I'm on every. I'm a, I'm in over sixty Facebook pages I belong to. Right. Plus all these real estate ones, and I'm always interested in what people have to say. That was just a topic that was discussed. There you go. Someone was talking about nine to five, and I didn't want to be. Na- you know, other people said right, it. Right. Right. Then you shouldn't be doing this. This is not the field for that. No. No. Real estate. In general, I mean, sometimes there I'll are go, many I'll, things you could do. Yeah, and there are I mean, many look, realtors. Look, so. look, look, look. If if nine to five is your thing, go for it. Like nothing against it. Maybe this is not for you. Find something that is for and you. Weekends very important. Yeah, weekends, weekends you gotta work. You work. I mean, real estate weekends, weekdays, nine to nine. I'm that's, writing you're offers like two, and yeah. I mean, personally, I'm you know. Yeah, you but, got people to help. But you, you have know, to. At this point. Yes. Yeah. My marketing, like I just said, I was just working yeah. with my marketing gal. She's great. I have another guy, Pedro, who's about to post the, my new listing on all those different Facebook yeah. pages. I really try to go above and beyond for my clients. I mean, once you got a team behind you like that and you've been in this field and you're killing it, crushing it like she is, then you got a team that can help you do all these things. But yeah, no, just like a nine to five, If this is, a, this is not a nine to five deal. Like if you're interested in real estate, Stay away from this. Um, if, like, if you're interested in making money, stay away from real estate. Find a different avenue. If you're not, in, if you're not going to work hard, weekends, on vacation, like nonstop, this is not the field for you. If you're not <laughs> going to do that, uh, would you say that's safe to say? Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably. I mean, but that's also what makes you such a like such a great like compliment to your clients. When they're trying to buy a home because they know that like hey look if i need to reach her i'm gonna be able to reach yes. her yes and for for sellers too it's very important yeah. and renters yep if they need to reach you they're going to be very able to reach you yes let, let, let me ask you what's the wildest like deal that you've done like what's the you've had some complicated ones that i know many don't name any names but like what's something just like, just wild. different things you know um so many things you have to watch out for, like people that are about to reti- like don't tell you that like they're gonna just they just do things like you know they say don't buy a car. Oh, you had someone to do that? Not that, but other things like just retire right before about to close, and it's oh, like, but you man. need a salary. You know, but then there, you know, different things like that that were just, or you know, lost a job, but we, then. We were able to figure out putting on a coast. You know, again, thinking yeah, yeah, there yeah, were yeah. always there have been some crazy situations that I've had to think of a plan B. Always have a plan B. But like what's one of the wildest, would you say? Someone like you told them to do this and they did it. Like what what's something crazy that has happened to you in the field that you can think of on the spot? Oh God. It really is more things like that, just like didn't you know follow the directions right like we constantly have to between me and the mortgage our more whoever whatever mortgage person we're using uh-huh. and the attorney we try to keep them on track right but it's very it's sometimes very difficult. i mean since i do so many closings like some of the wildest stuff that i've seen probably Tell is me. like the guy is at closing. Oh, right, because you're a notary, so you have to be I, there. Yeah, I'm at the closing. What was right. the craziest thing? Now I'm I interviewing mean, you. <laughs> there was this one person that had gotten, like, an Ikea card, a store card or something like that, and just, like, loaded the card and, like, purchased a right, ton Right, you need that cleared. So what did they do? Did they furniture. close? I don't, I don't know what happened, because, like, that day didn't close. to delay the closing. That day I wish I was close. the realtor. I'd figure, I'd figure something <laughs> oh, out. Oh, Lord. No, there was another closing that, that I wasn't present at, but Raquel, you met her at Yes. The, she was at the closing for five hours. 
that happens sometimes. And it didn't close. Still? It didn't close. Uh, five hours. You would want at least for five hours that it does. <laughs> I would not be happy. a happy hurricane. I mean, some of these deals, though, for you, they take a while to happen. Here, I've worked on short sale. I've, my experience in only five years is vast because right. I work with so many different people. Like I told you, I had 54 deals in one year. Last year, this year, I do a lot of volume, which means... I've had so many different experiences, right, short right. sales, bank owned. I have all this under my belt right. and they could take bank owned are pretty quick. Short sales take a long time. So things can nine months or commercials. I'm working nine on, months. I'm working on commercial deals now. So that's something, a lot of exciting stuff in the works too. And yeah, that you, you that, said, you said that commercial yeah, one but, is going to be nice, but that is also, I am, uh, it's t some, again, you know how I say learn and grow every day. I'm trying to have more patience because, you know, I want to be able to close it, but there's a lot of steps. Right. Nine months to close a deal. Was that the longest or is that like? Yes, that was a short sale. Damn. But these people are how? That's right, persistency right there. Yes. And, That's they're, persistency and now they're homeowners. Right there. That's the best. Like there are times when I had renters come to me that ne they came to me to see one of my rental properties that never in a million years thought they would be homeowners and I made that I said why are we not looking at other options they became a homeowner their family then I became their realtor and then their family so that's, that's how nice I love that yeah one of them actually Nene she came Nene? To, she, <laughs> she's like 15 and she's like so mature Spanish speaking and uh -huh. they, they didn't even, her family didn't even speak English and they were just for a rental got with her being able to translate and help me work them through the process we got them to be homeowners love it i hired her as my spanish translator so she helps me with the spanish communities 15. well that was a couple years ago now. but yes even back then she would help me with the translating and um she's a little older but uh-huh and still helps me with translating um to the hispanic community so that we're able to service them nice Got her whole family, a house, the uncle. The, so one, one, one conversation that I thought I knew we could dig deeper into this family turned out to be someone that helps me with my business and mm. also got several of their family and just put one of their friends in a home in Saddlebrook. The relationships be, you make. Love never thought it. they were going to be homeowners either. The look. Must have been about 10 transactions with one family that came that didn't even speak English. I love that. It's just the relationships you make just throughout this, like, this, I mean, just life in general. When you're making relationships, like, a genuine relationship, right? Like, not that BS, like, oh, you give me this, I give you that. Like, just genuine relationships. It just, like, blends into your life perfectly. Well, I'm trying to really, like, I, I have everyone's birth. Like, I see we're friends on Facebook, all my clients. It's someone's birth. I just sent a Heather the Hurricane cookie in Starbucks to one yeah. of my clients that had their birthday but i'm trying to keep track of everyone's i'm sending that out every agent i do a deal with i send a gift to a personalized gift i've done all kinds of things i had because i think that's you want to build relationships yes. on every end so that yes. deals go smoothly and, they, and we work together yes. we're all in this together it's so important yes i start i started out by doing custom gifts even to the agents with their names on it and I had one time a flask, I'm very creative, hashtag real estate life, it said. <laughs> so I'm always thinking of cool things and they remember it. Agents are like, why are we not doing a deal right now? Because they remember how, that, you know, it was just a, whatever. They don't need the little chat, but it's the thought that counts. It's, it's just going. all these, like, it's it all, comes, all, all comes together. Yeah. yeah. Just building the relationship like that, it all comes together. What's, so what is just one thing that you would tell someone that's starting off right now? Like, what's that one advice? You've done like $100 million deals at this point in five years, which is like wild. In five years, most agents quit after the first year. Oh yeah, year. the statistics are wild. The, yeah. Especially what's crazy is, so they, they say, you know, so many people got their license around COVID and that was a strong market. And now this is a tough market, it is. but I'm still very busy, thank God. But the point is that, you know, these to really become a 
strong agent and to, you know, to live through these markets and to be successful in them is, it's tough. And it's going to take a certain type of person. And that's who you want selling or buying your home. Right. They say strong markets make weak agents, but tough markets make strong agents. I love that. And that's what we're going through right now. Yeah, no, it's like... Yeah, we're going to see a with, shift. With interest, Not every- rates, with interest rates the way it is right now. What do you? Where do you see the market going? I think we're good. People are always buying, selling, <laughs> you know, renting. And then for my people that want to rent right now and maybe can't afford a home, it's like, let's buy a home. You're investing in nothing. But of course, there's rentals are always important too, especially because I also work with um, investors. Right. And people need a place to live you know maybe they're and renting is the way to go for them i'm just saying there's oh there's a need whatever your needs are we could fill it and there'll always be that need so really fake news when everyone's just like freaking out (laughs) over freaking out like just a couple months ago the prices were people were paying up to a hundred thousand dollars over asking it was great talk about maybe these people have buyer's remorse right and now but i shouldn't say that because they are homeowners and thank god but my point is, for them, you know, now people maybe can get the houses at under asking or a little bit more of a negotiated deal. Not always. I'm still in bidding war, so that's still happening. Still in bidding war? Yes. Really? <laughs> I just put an offer in for a house. They said, oh, you're one of 48 offers. 48 offers in this market? Yes. But it was a lower price point, so that's always going to happen in the lower price point. Okay. Okay. So they started off like low three, to get four. the bidding. Well, like a home that's in like the threes, the fours, those are always going to be very okay. tough to attain. I've attained a bunch of them though from my clients over the years. Really? Yes. Look at my sales. It's all on my website. It's all on Zillow. Check out the website. <laughs> I mean, this woman, you want to learn everything and anything that she's doing. I actually was going to, that one of the things I'm always looking at doing different things, marketing things. And one of the things I'm going to do is to start a Zoom class and different classes on you know how to get started as a realtor and i'm talking like doing everything i still i door knock you can't I keep with the you can't keep up with the hurricane i'm telling I do you everything door <laughs> knock call all over social media all kind i'm always looking at doing new things and the basics what's the big new thing you're into now well i've been, a lot of people have been asking me to do these this is good <laughs> but i'm so excited about today but you know, I don't just always trying things like, right? Like I said, ba- basics. I door knock, make phone calls. You have to just do basic stuff. Besides, also, but I think a, a lot that I did this year was being at all the different events. I really okay. stepped it up. Um, the networking events. Well, that too, but also getting a booth at the okay. wedding show at right. every all the Oradell's things. PTA. I see something. I'm like, oh, I'm in. Get me. I get a table. Holiday booth. Anything that will help to get my name out. Just even just staying in touch with every person I know somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just getting networking constantly. Like there are situations I'm in where I'm like, I can't believe I just didn't give that person my car. Yeah. Uh, just oh, how many that's happened to because me you times. never yeah. know. That could have been the person that their yes. grandma has a house to list. Yes. That their and that they have their son that's 20 something years old that's like finally wants to buy oh whatever you unless you put it out there yeah. how are they gonna know there's been times where i've marketed some to someone like six months ago i don't i didn't even remember them yeah and then, and then i get a call yeah. and it's like hey I, I need a closer right now it's like you never you but, never know mm-hmm. but the fun stuff is you know i i love being on camera on my youtube channel i have a commercial that aired on tv for a while it was awesome and now it's all over the social media people see it i people have called me about it um like back you know i do stand-up comedy i hosted this event for a real estate the poster meet the comedy's better way more <laughs> so you know and i i also was a spokeswoman for another real estate um Diff, uh, company that they help with leads. So yeah, yeah, yeah. my background also, you know, I'll do a lot of pop-up videos and they're good right on the spot. People are like you rehearse them. Like, no, just, I'm always dressed, you know, looking great, you know, fashion's my background with FIT and I'm always ready. To, camera, re- camera. Yes. Wait, so, so you started up in fashion camera ready. Yes. 
I'll tell you, but I, we'll talk about that. Okay. But camera ready, you know, it's so important. Like I'll just beat an inspection and I'll be like, start, I'll be like, come on, let's do a, a minute video right now about that I'm here, what an inspection is. I'll be at the appraisal, what an appraisal is. And I'm trying to do a lot more of those. Hit me one of, with one of those, let's go. What's okay. an inspection? Okay, hi guys, it's Heather the Hurricane. I'm here today with my client at an inspection. I'm representing the buyer. And this is something that's so important. We never skip an inspection. They're so important. This is something, one of the many reasons why you need an agent. Um, you know, when you purchase a home, you want to hire an inspector, a, sort of a licensed one, which I do have one in my networking group, that will inspect the home for you. Make sure it's structurally sound, environmentally sound. This is so important. And it's something that, you know, we want to make sure that you're, that you're buying a home that is right for you. So this is just one of the many steps in the process of owning a home. Call me, Heather the Hurricane, 917-443-767. On the spot, oh, Come on, like that was that. a little shaky. You got me. <laughs> but, um, oh, fa yes. Um, fashion's so important. I'm always, always dressed up. Dress to impress. Mm -hmm. Very important. Um, I went to FIT for buying and merchandising. I was a buyer at Century 21 department store. Because I stuck in the back when I was graduating FIT when when uh, Century 21 was at our at our school doing a fashion show. Okay. Gave them my resume. I was hired for their buying program on the spot. But when I was there, I knew, I got to know more and more people in the industry and I knew that sales, all my vendors were like, you have such a great personality and a lot of money to be made in the sales route. So that's when I yeah. switched over and got into ad sales and ran magazines, similar to what Aaron does. And then- I mean, that probably helped you so much now. Yes. All of it, it brought me to where I am today. Love it, love it, love it. So, what's one thing that you want to mention to everyone about you that we haven't covered so far? Hire me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tough. You know, I set myself aside. I think I do a good job of it, but there are a lot of realtors. And there's a, but, you know, again, like I said, that's okay. Because yeah. there's... A, you know, everyone has their place, but it's just important to hire one. Yeah. Me, especially. But because <laughs> some a lot of people, when we see the for sale by owners and, you know, it's so important. Really, there's there's so much that goes into this that I encourage oh, people. Those for sale by owners, like those signs, I see them last like forever on the property. The property never sells. Yes. We are not getting, we move, we move it quicker at top dollar. And we work our butt tails off so that everyone's happy at the end. And I certainly do. And um, I just want to grow. I want, I've already, like, I, so there's this gold, is, I'm in year five. I made bronze my first year, silver my second year. Year three, I already was hitting gold for gold. I will be doing that again year five. Let's talk and about so your I rewards. Let's go, talk about your rewards. I want to double it. How many it. have you have? So those five what are they actually those are just making sales numbers both the thing that's so that i love about it it's not just counting your dollar amount it's also units like i said okay. i did 54 units last year just one year that just shows i do a lot of volume does 54 units include like separate apartments or just rentals the sales okay all of it got it whereas some people may do you know, sales and only, you know, three or four units, you know, to me personally, just that I do a lot of volume. Right. And different price points, 700,000, 300, that, you know, it's a mix, which is right. wonderful. You know, I wanted, I'd love to get a few more higher price points and I'm ready for, it. I've done some of those and I'm, I could handle all of it. You know, I know it's a different type of marketing for a luxury home than if I'm marketing a $300,000 yeah. home, but yeah. it's all important and it's all, I know how to do all of it. Because my background has brought me here. Right. What other rewards are we talking about? Uh, the humanitarian award. Who knew? <laughs> what is that? That one. I guess. Like, I, I was. I, I was curious very, about that. Very, I do a lot with the community. Like I said, I was on the PTA. I'm still a Girl Scout leader. I'm leading them since my daughter was in kindergarten. Who's now 13? Just had her bat mitzvah. That was insane. Got big write ups on that too. That was insane. Uh, Spider Man themed. So, Girl Scout leader. Um, worked with a lot of different um, organizations where 
uh, we go and help the children, go to entertain the children. Um, lots of different things that we do. Oh, I, I always run a holiday, a Halloween, a very, people always look forward to it, an adult Halloween party. We had a band, DJ, giveaways, silent Love auction, uh, bo- flash dancers, uh, contests. Like you get so much for your money and then we gave a portion to charity. I'm always doing something to help the community. So that's, I guess, right. I got that. So I was also up for the Good Neighbor Award. I was also up for Not Rising... Good Neighbor, safe home Same is type there. of thing. <laughs> uh, rising Star, that was in your... Heather home. is there. <laughs> yeah, the hurricane. A rising Star, the Conversion Award, which is really cool because that shows that from one phone call that our company like was always wonderful and giving us leads that you pick up the phone. It could be cold, could be hot, but if right. you can make that into someone that is going to buy, sell, or rent with you, and how many times you do it, that's where the conversion award came from. What is your conversion rate? Uh, the, with, the, with that with real, with that particular program, it was very high. Very high, because actually, so I started five years ago. Uh-huh. Just, it could, I mean, this one phone call, the guy was like 10, he must have sounded like 10 years old, this guy. And I took the call seriously. I bet another person would have hung up on them. Right, right, right. Turns out that he, I got his dad pre-approved for their first two family. And from there, I have, I must have, from that one phone call, done 30 transactions at least. To this, that was five years ago. To this day, a transaction I did recently Damn. was one of their, a someone from their community, a home in Paramus. But in between Love that, it. it's been investment properties, homes, renting buying flipping it's got to be at least 30 transactions from this one phone call that's that's called conversion take, my take, friend take every <laughs> call seriously yes. as much as you don't want to believe me sometimes i'm just like <laughs> but you know take every call seriously that one call seriously 30 transactions at least i'd have to go at, back and count if not more yes I'd have to go back and count. That one call, that's amazing. I love it. So that was conversion, humanitarian, top agent award. We did the gold and silver and bronze. I think that may have been a, oh, the, uh, Remax is always the 100% club. You know, we make a certain amount of commission. So I've always gotten those. So just a whole bunch, plus I'm president of the. Well, um, that one over there was. That's the bronze, silver, gold. gold. The only one that I haven't achieved is platinum, which is the highest, and that's twenty million in sales for the year. Like I said, I'm usually about thirteen million. I'm only in year five, and that's she's, still- just, she's just thirteen million. <laughs> just thirteen. I want million. that twenty million. That's coming. Just thirteen. That's million. coming for twenty. Well, I love how you say it. Just thirteen. I'm very. Million. I want more. So humble. <laughs> so just thirteen. So I'm hoping for that platinum in year six. <laughs> that's twenty million. Let's hope. I mean, twenty twenty three, baby. <laughs> Maybe that's one of the things too that like your clients probably love working with you for. It's just humble. I don't know about humble, but you I, said thirteen million. Because like I want. Just like, it's just me. I don't think that. I, in that I way, I guess I, I am. But in some like, ways, I'm not. Like, cause I love to like. I I am in that way, but in another way, I'm not. People might th- say I'm not because I have to. I keep it out there what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like I have to remind you. It's not that I want to be like bragging. I want to remind you what I'm doing. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. So I think it's a fine line. I mean, it's just marketing. Yes. I mean, I don't think that makes you not humble. It just makes you a good marketer. I I hope so. Because that's really what I'm trying to do. When I'm out there and constantly remind you of what I'm doing, it's to remind you what I'm doing. Yeah, that's it. Not to say I'm better than you, but this is what I'm doing. So call me. Yeah, you have to. That's my whole. You have to put your name out there or else no one's going to reach out to you. How would they know that you're doing something if you're not putting your name out there? So I do that a lot. Yeah. (laughs) Look at this. We got business card, brochure. I have tons Top of merch, magazine. tons of merch, tons of articles. Zillow reviews, her Zillow reviews are freaking amazing. So if you're looking to sell I'm buy hoping, a house, you yeah. really should check, check those them out. Check them out. They're all five star, over 60. But yeah, no. I mean, the way you said 13 million, it's like, to me, that was humble. <laughs> Thank you. So, and you should always reach for more. Yes. In anything you're doing, any business you're in, you should reach for more. 
So yeah, aim for that 20 million. Aim for I that like 30 million. 20 so. million is Help too low. <laughs> aim for that 50 million dollars a year. Hell, Let's you know? Let's hope so. It... I love it. Yeah. I love it. And I so, met you at the magazine too. You know? Yeah. No, uh, so we, we met each other at the um, real estate, Bergen County Real Estate Producers Networking event. And uh, the golf simulation, that's such a cool... I sucked at that. <laughs> I but it's suck a, that you know, things I kept hitting the You know, wall. big deals, you know, deals happen on the golf course, so. Yeah. I'm a, I think I'm going to take up golf next. I, I played <laughs> tennis already, and I'm doing kickboxing. Next, my next thing is golf. I Let's need, do it. Yeah. My. If I'm looking to, to go up to that $50 million, See? I... I, I I need to learn how to play golf. We're going to get some branded golf. How we're ahead of the hurricane. And I'm going to golf balls. And we're going to hit around. I was hitting the walls. I hit the ceiling. Everything except for the target. I sucked that golf. But yeah, guys. My name is Elias Santos. Subscribe. Comment below. Anything. Head of the hurricane. You can Heather find me. I'm a Google... Um, What's that word? You know, when you're real, the real deal certified or you real, know when Google I'm certified, you know, like local, when, local guide. No, it means you're um, verified, verified. Okay. I'm verified. Where That's do we weird. find you? Everywhere. It's all on my website. Like I said, Heather, the hurricane It's all on my website, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Heather, the hurricane, Facebook, follow me. I'm at almost a thousand likes i'm actually giving out an award to my i'm giving out i have a, pri a prize for my like 1000 i'm always giving stuff away for my 1000th follower come right about there for heather the hurricane i was on my regular page happy for you to be my friend on heather learner corrigan my, you know reach out don't my cell phone is public my regular facebook page is public i have no problem with that mixing it together because to me it's all my clients are my family and my friends. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. Like this video because it helps us a, a, a lot. A, <laughs> it helps us a lot. So don't forget to do that. And I just had um, another question that I wanted to ask you. You've been in this business for five years. What's the difference between your first year and your fifth year? What would you say is the difference in your growth personally as well? I feel... I mean, year one, I was like, did not, I did not know what I was doing, but I just jumped in and I said, I'm going to learn on the job along with, of course, we have great support at Remax. They're an awesome company, but it's like some people are like, let me first uh, sit and do all these reviews and then I'll get started. No, I jumped right in. So it was kind of like th doing it on the spot. And now, five years later, sometimes I feel myself, even just like the video I just did for the new rental I have, which was one of my clients that, this is an awesome story too. Can I tell you quickly? Hit me, yeah. One of my calls, one of those calls that we thought was nowhere. Yeah. Talked to the guy. He wanted to see House of Paramus. I found out on that phone call he had two properties to sell, and I brought the listing agreement to our first meeting. He signed them so happy with me i double ended one of them i found that buyer on the street putting out my open house he was walking his dog getting a bottle of wine for his wife came in and bought that house who also became a huge referral for me the hustle and he told his friends i sold their house their two family rented another house for them they told their friends about me who i got a home for it and just got that friend a two family and we just closed on it and now i'm renting their property to get, get trying to get them a really nice you know tenant that uh, match that that's another matchmaking thing we do and when I did that video the way I was moving around and the, I almost even though I'm great on camera for some reason it felt different this many years later just <laughs> the confidence the way even when I answer a client about a question they have that maybe in the past I just thought I was right but I always try to double check before I say, I don't want to mm -hmm. ever give the wrong advice. Right, or, right. Especially if it's something that attorney It's a major be, deal, yeah. An attorney should be um, advising them on or, you know, or the their inspector or their... Yeah, yeah. You have to be very careful not to, you know... You don't say, want to cross that line, yeah. Right. You know, it's, it's always okay to say, ask the professional. Yeah. But I'm the professional they come to that has to sometimes divvy it out. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> it has a shock mount. 
But anyway, I feel like my answers just come out smoother. Yeah, yeah. That's the difference between your first, yeah. first and fifth year. I love that, yeah. Now, um, I'm, when I'm at closings, you were talking about the professionals part. When I'm at closings, I have to be very careful because I'm going over the loan documents with them. Uh -huh. And then they hit me with a ton, ton of questions that maybe, you know, got to be careful yes. how you answer it. I and would that's imagine the you, final. I, yeah. That's the final countdown, yeah. my friend. That's probably the one thing they remembered. Oh too, my God, if you so. screwed that up, I beat you up. <laughs> Honestly, you would though, feel the wrath of the hurricane. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I like to tell a lot of like um, real estate agents, anyone who's in title as well. You have to be very careful who's at the table with your clients at the end. Which is why, we're, like, whenever I'm talking to like real estate agents such as yourself, I'm like, hey. You're going to want to let your title company know that you want Alita Santos at the table because what if that guy says something that pisses off your client? That's the one thing they're going to remember at the end, you know? Like you, that deal that took you nine months. You spent nine months doing and that deal. And even that, like let's say we disagreed with the listing agent, but when you're at that table and everyone closes, yeah. everyone's happy. Yeah. That's what they remember. Yeah. There could have been, you know, bumps in the road. Yep. But if you got there, To the we're table. Good. Yeah, you're happy. And I also want to say, you were saying to me about my marketing. Like when I knock on doors or... I'm not even kidding. The kids in this town, they chant how the, the hurricane. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. They chant my name. They all fight over my merch. They, I have to. I printed up pens just to give to them. Love I actually it. had shop. <laughs> I wish I had them. I had shopping bags with my face on it. When that's another thing I didn't mention. I knew there were so many good things. Oh, that's perfect now too. I did that. Now that we don't have like, like, like I mean, Jersey. Been there, done that. Jersey pisses me off so no, much. No, but with my that. point to you is that I'm way ahead of you. I did that a long time ago when. I have none left. They were very popular and I kept running them, but I, you know, I take a break with my merch and try to do new stuff, but those bags, I see them everywhere. I think it's They were perfect. red. Um, I'll try to get a photo for you. Maybe you could yeah, post yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were red with my, lo my Heather the Hurricane logo and my face and everyone carries them and they fight over That's them. genius. I love genius. it. Genius. So those are out there, but people fight over my merch. They scream my name. It's, it's working. Yeah. I did a post. I did an ice cream truck at one of my open houses here in town, and that was really cool. You did an ice cream truck. Yeah, and they and the. I need to go to your open houses. Yeah. <laughs> so they sent their kids, and the kids were in the neighborhood. And then one of the guys that sent his kid over made me a friend on Facebook. So maybe he's not moving, but he's gonna in remember future, me. Future, yeah. Like, that girl gave my kids some ice cream. Yeah. And then I sent a postcard to every Oradelli and also talking about how I'm very involved with the community and the, some of my local sales. So trying to figure out. That's all next level stuff right there. And I, I where did you come up with an ice cream truck? I, I think that's how I think. <laughs> I always do events. I've, I, I told you, I always, I had a side party planning visits, Heather's heydays, because I'm like my daughter's bat mitzvah, I told you, was insane. The whole Spider Man, I dance like Spider Man. Uh, uh, Sienna's comic book shop with a branded look like a custom logo. We got written up in magazines because of That's this. Wild. I can send you that too because this is how I think. And right, all right. that way of thinking, I incorporate in what I'm currently doing. That's I mean, the, honestly, I don't know how I didn't think of that. The bag. It's genius. I can help you. We'll get you some. <laughs> I mean, like, I go to other states. It pisses off. It pisses me off. I have to New find Jersey it for you. It's so get... cool. I'll get it. I'll get you some images of yeah, it. Yeah, no, send it to me. But like, I go to other states where like they still have plastic bags. New Jersey, if you're watching this and you're not in New Jersey, we have to have like these paper. They took. Um, they banned plastic bags for. Ev We're talking food shopping everywhere you go. So imagine you're in the supermarket and you have nowhere. You have like eggs and everything you have to carry it out so yeah. if you don't have a bag. So that's why he's saying that me having my branded head of the hurricane bags was genius because I had them printed and distributed right around the time that this was happening. And they and now you have every, like they're reusable. So now you have everyone. It's in your bag. It's in your car. I saved the day. The hurricane saved the day. <laughs> you have so everyone walking with their face a, on it. If you could fix a problem, that's always, it's always good. I mean, a problem fixer. That's a, a problem fixer. And the, 
You need a place to live. You need a, somewhere to carry your groceries in. Come to the hurricane. And somewhere to have ice cream. I mean, that's wild. Like, the ideas that you have is just like... And I always try to stay fresh. Like, you'll see my picture with my hair was very long. <laughs> and now I just cut it short. So, like, stay fresh and fun and keep them on their toes. Holy different. Oh, shoot. I just dropped her, her stuff. <laughs> just dropped her stuff, guys. Okay. But like, I always, those are my shades. I always have a pair of shades to match. But like, just some awesome. Like, Keep what's, it fresh. The ice cream truck is—is is that like the like just craziest thing you've ever done? Or like, um, that was good. That was, that good. was good. That was good. But I like, need more. I need more. <laughs> I mean, like, the cookies. I have my never heard of hurricane. anyone bring ice cream to an open house. Uh, my hurricane cookies are very well received. I wish I had. Like I said, I just gave. You know, I could to, eat some cookies right now. It's my logo on it. I'll get mm -hmm. you some to hand out it. I'll get you some. Yeah, I'm taking, by the way, guys, if you see me on the street or something, I have her cards. I have her brochure. Just hit me up. Um, just, I mean, just And stop ask me, me any, yeah. like, you know, any real estate question you may have, please call me. You know, I'm yeah. going to be doing some seminars too. So I'll be. I'll leave, uh, leave, if you have any questions about real estate, leave it in the comments. I could always, can I text yes. you the questions? And then, yeah. Oh my God, I'll text totally. her the questions. Um, just give, I love helping people. Just give me your contact info as well. If you're looking to buy a house, I'll shoot buy, it over sell, to Buy, sell, rent, yeah. invest, flip, commercial property, whatever it is, I can help. So I'm going to cut that snippet out, put it on like Facebook and stuff. So if you guys have any questions about buying, selling, real estate, flipping, all that jazz, just hit me up. I'll give you her information and then we'll go from there. And the new events I have coming up, I have some skits. They asked me to do some comedy, so I got to get working on some stuff. Right, I'm gonna, so I'm much gonna, pressure. <laughs> I'm going to let you go because you got a ton of crap of things to do. Um, is there anything I missed that you'd like to mention? I think we covered it. Nice. I mean, I think we really did. I mean, but call me with anything, and I'm For really sure. excited to be here. And I really think we got it covered. But you know, the the way that I work, it's not just real estate; it's anything. You know, mm -hmm. you, it's just so important just to get out there and just get in there and learn. You know. Yeah. And. You know, learning things are, you know, to take these classes, and it's so important too. But a lot of the learning is also right on the job. Like, you know, when I took the classes um, to pass and to get my license, I was like, what? I couldn't, it didn't even make sense until I actually went out there. I'm like, oh, I re so it's really stuff that, you know, it's so important to have, to have the knowledge, but also being able to apply it right on the spot and in situations is really the best school out there love it love it so guys um where can they find you okay heather the hurricane that's my website and that has everything it says meet heather you know my sales everything's there and it's going to show you i have an account on home snap rate my agent linkedin twitter TikTok, instagram facebook heather the hurricane my business and my heather learner corrigan which is my personal page Oh my God! What else? did I miss? Any? There's so many. I mean, I've, if you go to Heather the Hurricane, LinkedIn, of course. If you go to HeatherTheHurricane.com, you're gonna YouTube. See I have everything. a YouTube channel. Like We're I gonna said, link that over here as well. But for my commercial that was airing for a while, now it's all over um, social media. <sighs> everywhere. She's everywhere. Omnipresent. I, That's what I like. I'm telling you, I knock people. Oh, Heather the Hurricane! Like it's become iconic. My logo. Perfect. So if you have any questions, leave it below. Comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. No, smash that subscribe button. My and name also is Elias. Su subscribe to mine. Subscribe I mean, to her channel I gotta as well. Get, yeah. yeah, I've done some interviews myself. Subscribe to her channel. I did as a well. local uh, chef, Chef Tony. You should check it out. And I was gonna, in, I'm about to interview that sneaker guy I told you about in town. So this is so great. I'm so happy to this be here. This lady does it all. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to her channel. See what she's, look, if you're a real estate agent, if you're looking to buy a house, see what she's doing. Yeah. And learn from the best. A hundred million deals. A hundred, um, that, so. that, that's wild. A hundred. <laughs> one day. One day, yeah. A hundred million dollars My God, my head is spinning. 
you, you want to learn from the best. So subscribe to her channel, follow her, follow her social media, go to heatherthehurricane.com. I'm going to post her right here. And don't forget to subscribe and comment in this channel right here. Peace. Bye. Make it a good one.